What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Sandra Jessica Chavez channel. I hope you guys are staying safe, healthy, and away from this virus because it ain't no joke. Okay, so let's get started into this week's episode or this week's topic. I'm going to be talking about mood boards. For those of you that are staying home and in quarantine, you know, this is something fun that you could probably do. I'm going to show you how to make one. So, uh, all right, let's jump into it. say a mood board is basically a collage of images text inspiration images um, that make up kind of a design concept so for us designers it gives the client a better understanding of what the finished product will look like and helps avoid any misunderstandings that may result from describing a design concept so for example my interpretation of something that is warm, inviting, and modern can be different than what you think is warm, inviting, and modern. Um, so for me as a designer, I feel like I can't do a design without doing a mood board. I have to know what is the client style, what is their you know aesthetic, what do they like, what do they dislike. I take all the positive feedback from what they tell me and I make that into a mood board. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to do my own personal mood board for my future home as an example. I went ahead and created a board on Pinterest. I pinned some of my favorite images of a kitchen, a bathroom, some, and I have some paint swatches, gallery wall, light fixtures. I also love including outfits and my mood board because um, it captures my fashion style and goes with the whole aesthetic that you guys will see. Um, I pinned more than what I need, but I'm going to be narrowing it down to my favorite images. Okay, so starting in InDesign, I started a new document, 8.5 by 11 in portrait mode. I started by dragging one of my images onto the document. I'll be using this as a template as you'll see. So I basically will be sizing it down and copying and pasting until I have 9 squares in total, 3 across and 3 down. So what I did next is when you hover over one of the images, you'll see a circle appear. So if you click in it on the right hand side, there will be a window called links and it will highlight which, um, which image is selected. So you can right click on that and relink it to wherever the image is saved. So once I was done uh, relinking all the images, I selected them all and gave them a white border um, just so they're not all touching each other and there's some space in between. So that is my mood board. Um, you kind of have to use your best judgment to see the, how the images will look next to each other. Sometimes you may end up switching one or two out, um, which is what I did, you'll see on the next screen. Um, but some of the main components that I like to use in my mood board is I like to have some color image, you know, have some texture and interior inspiration picture, have some greenery, uh, pictures of like wood or tile, whatever it is referring to your project. Um, some light fixtures, some pattern, you know, abstract art, whatever, you know, reflects your style or your client style. And it helps to have some variety in there and not just have everything, you know, the same. Okay, so I'm just going to explain my mood board for a hot second. Starting on the right hand corner, you'll see I have a wood tone um, and it's like this ash wood because I love and that's the type of flooring that I want to incorporate in my home. Next to it, I have this inspiration picture of this kitchen because I love how bright and airy it feels. Um, next to it, it's greenery because it's got to have some plants in the space. And above that, we have a gallery wall that has, you know, mixed color frames and sizes, which is typically what I love. Next to that, we have an outfit that is sophisticated and classy, a little bit edgy. That is my personal style and fashion. So, of course, got to have that on the mood board. And then next to that, we have a paint swatch that, I, you know, want to keep the home pretty neutral. Um, for the most part and above that I have an inspiration picture of a bathroom because I love the wallpaper and how funky it feels and the vanity has an ashwood tone next to that we have marble because you know gotta have some marble in there I want that in my kitchen countertops and then I got some bulb pendants that I foresee having above my island so overall, you know, I want my home to be pretty light um, and airy, have some, you know, character to it and keep it pretty sophisticated
yeah but that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you made a mood board please share it with me i would love to see it and um i will catch you guys later on next week's episode where i hope we're over with this quarantine hopefully yeah cover your mouth when you sneeze wash your hands just be safe stay healthy and i will catch you guys later on next week bye